Hi, I'm Carly, I'm from HRP, and today we're gonna to be showing you how to fill a VOA vial. VOA vials are for the sampling of VOCs, volatile organic compounds. Today we're gonna to be sampling from a sink, um, but this technique also goes for any other water sampling, including low flow groundwater sampling or wastewater sampling. Um, and one other important thing to note is that these vials contain HCl, hydrochloric acid, which is why it's so important to wear your safety gear, including your safety glasses and gloves at all times. All right, when you're adjusting your flow rate, you wanna make sure you have very low, smooth flow so that you're not volatilizing any of the components that you're trying to sample for. So first you're gonna kinda lower it down so you have a good slow flow rate. So when you put the sample under the tap, you wanna kinda put it in at an angle so that the water is hitting the side of the vial as it flows in. So when you're filling the vial, you want there to be kind of a meniscus at the top and then you wanna put a little bit of water in the cap so that there's no air space in the vial. To close the vial, you're gonna take the cap, flip it over, slowly turn the top, check the top for any bubbles to make sure there's no air space in the vial, and then flip it over, tap it on your hand a couple times and check the bottom of the vial to make sure that there's really no bubbles. If you do end up with a bubble in the vial, the constituents could volatilize into the airspace and then you'll end up with an inaccurate reading from the lab. The lab may have you take two or three of these VOA vials depending on what they require um, and go see our other video on how to fill out a chain of custody for submitting these samples to the lab. Well, thank you for joining us today for how to fill a VOA vial. Um, if you'd like to see more, head to our channel for more videos, click the subscribe button down below, hit the bell for notifications, and we'll see you next time.